Hi everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Welcome back to my channel and to our continuing journey through my Hawaiian record collection. We're going through my Hawaiian vinyl records, one record at a time, back to the regular uh, edition. This time around we are on the letter M and we're going to pick up where we left off on the letter M. Uh, first up is a record, kind of, I guess kind of a private pressing. I mean, it's not like a major label, but it's uh, done... All of the proceeds from this record went to the Life of the Land group. Um, it's called Topsoil Music Label. All proceeds, proceeds go to Life of the Land, an effective environmental research and action group in the state of Hawaii. This group is engaged in legal action to bring about the enforcement of existing anti-pollution laws to stop speculative land development. Good luck with that. Uh, and to prevent Hawaii from becoming a suburb of Los Angeles. Um, this is a, from, I think it's 1974 or 75? 1974. Um, these two really folk singers, right? Totally folk singers. And the album is called The Life of the Land, or The Life of the Land Record, by Mike and Lorna McClellan. Here on the front cover, I guess it's the front, we see them with all the people on Waikiki and they're kind of with their backs to us. And uh, then on the back cover, all of the same information, title tracks and everything, all the same information but in uh, Hawaiian language. And then they're on the very same beach, Waikiki Beach, but just obviously probably taken very early in the morning, shortly after sunrise, when there really aren't a lot of people out yet, but the same people. Let's all go to Rip Off Island. Let's all go and get our share. Let's all go to Rip Off Island. You can't tell how long. It's a gonna be there There's no bar there for Out at Kalihi I'm not Down crazy about the singing on this record. I'm not that hip on folk singing, but uh, there's a couple of uh, slack key instrumentals which I think are quite nice. Top soil music. Okay, next up, uh, a souvenir album. Uh, most of the professional luau's at some point or other and Polynesian shows had their own records that they would sell um, when you went to see the shows. Um, and this is one of those from a very famous luau that took place on Waikiki. This album, I, I'm assuming I'm thinking, is from the 70s. Chuck Machado's luau recorded live on the beach at Waikiki, and this is simply a uh, recording of the performances at the Luau itself. It's a gatefold album uh, showing the musicians and performers at the Luau, some very well-known names here. And uh, the back with some photographs from the Luau. No date on this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 1970s, I would say. Now the finale of our show, we bring back all of our lovely dancers. They dance in an outfit made popular by Dorothy L'Amour called the Sarong. CPM Records, I'm not sure what that is. And these are the contents, again, just recordings of performances of Apple Blue. Now, Machado is actually was a well-known name here. I have a couple of albums by a lady by the name of Lena Machado. Very beautiful uh, singer, very lovely voice. She was known as Hawaii Songbird. She also wrote quite a few songs. And I have two albums from her. 
one uh, produced locally here on what's called Songbird Records. Um, the album's called Hawaii Songbird, Lena Machado. Very lovely voice. Now this album is a classic, not common, but very, very classic album, very well known. Um, the next album I show from her is not very well known. Um, in fact, when I used to work at KCCN Hawaiian Radio back in the 80s, nobody really even knew this record existed, and I discovered it one day. Um, it's deceptively similar in its title. This is called Hawaii's Songbird. Uh, the other album here on Harmony Columbia is called Songbird of Hawaii. Uh, now, also ironically, there are quite a few of the same songs on this album as the last. However, they are totally different recordings. Um, this one, it doesn't name the uh, backup musicians who they are on uh, this album, but on this album, a completely different set of musicians. The backup group is Andy Cummings and his Hawaiian Serenaders, who is quite well known in his own right. In fact, he is the composer of the very famous song, Waikiki. Uh, and to be honest with you, uh, I really prefer this record, and it is lesser known, but I love the I love both albums, but I love the arrangements on this album actually better than I do on the more well-known album. And this is a, kind of a budget label of Columbia, Harmony Records. They would sort of reissue stuff that had already been out, I guess, or that they were just offering at a cheaper price. I'm not exactly sure, because I don't think this ever came out in any other form than Harmony Records. I have seen it a few times on Harmony, and that's it. <laughs> And that's it. It's the only two albums of uh, Lena Machado I have, though, very well known and loved uh, singer and musician and songwriter. And she, there are some other singles by here, but that's the only two albums I have of hers, or know of, of hers. Okay, here's a record we need to talk about for a minute. <laughs> Although some of you may ask, why bother spending time on this? But I will. Uh, the Magic Organ Goes to Hawaii. Now, do any of you remember uh, in the 70s when uh, the home organs were like a big deal? I mean, you would go to the mall and there would be the stores that sold the organs that you could play at home and different independent dealers. Um, I really remember that. You go to the mall and somebody might be playing one of the organs in, fr in the front of the store or whatever. Uh, I don't know all the companies, but they all put out these organs. Uh, when I, growing up, I had a small keyboard at home. We had one of those little, a little tiny one in my home that I played. Uh, my grandmother had kind of a slightly larger one that we played. My great aunt had a big one. She had one of these big kind of like magic organ things that did all the tricks and I used to play all three of them and I would love to play uh, my great aunt's organ. But anyway, also during that time period when they were promoting those organs, of course, um, they were you know creating albums featuring those organs. And two of the really well-known series was the Happy Organ, which I do have the Happy Organ Goes Hawaiian or Goes to Hawaii. I do have that one. And then this other series, which was The Magic Organ Goes Hawaii, 1977, very 1977, <laughs> you look at the cover with their white uh, suits on. Uh, definitely of the two albums, I do prefer this one. There's a couple really pretty songs on The Happy Organ, but overall, um, this album I like much better. And there's a very beautiful original song called Hawaiian, Magic Hawaiian Moon on this, and then the other one are all standards, but that song, Magic Hawaiian Moon, is really quite lovely. Okay.
Okay, that's it for today. We are going to stop there. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any of these records or any uh, comment on this kind of music or whatever, I'd love to hear from you and leave those comments below. Uh, and have a good week, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you.